everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Feed Me Vegan. It's our second show. We're really excited about it today. Feed Me Vegan is a project of Vegan University, which is a program of the Animal Rights Coalition, a grassroots animal advocacy group based in South Minneapolis. And it's a beautiful day here in the cities, and we are really excited to bring you some of our favorite picnic foods today. They're perfect for barbecues, little gatherings, parties, that kind of thing. Who are you? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm Chelsea. I'm Ryan. And we work for the Animal Rights Coalition, so that's why we're doing the show. Mm -hmm. And so what are we making today? <laughs> she never no knows. Idea. I'll be making some uh, vegan tuna salad, vegan egg salad, and then we're going to do some really cute popsicles. Cute popsicles. That would be per they're very cute and okay. healthy. All right. I know you love when it's healthy. Ugh. Okay. So let's start. Tell me what to do. Okay. Let's start with I'm egg at salad. At your disposal. Perfection. Okay. Okay. Look, it's all ready. <gasps> Are you going to make me cut a thing? Yeah. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, so first, we want to talk to you guys about tofu. So a lot of people are kind of afraid of tofu. What is tofu? Someone asked me yesterday if tofu was like liquidy or if it was like a mousse. And I said no, although it can make mousse. But what we're doing here, there's tofu in here, believe it or not. And <laughs> in the pile of yes, plates? Yes, this is pressing the tofu. So tofu is soybeans. It's made from soybeans, and it comes in little bricks. And it has a lot of water, and it's usually water packed. So this tofu is extra firm tofu, and we're pressing as much of the water out as we can. So I'll show you. We have it wrapped up in a dish towel. A fuzzless one is the best. And <laughs> this, is, this is tofu. This is what tofu looks like. So that is the base of our eggless egg salad. Tofu doesn't really have much of a flavor. It kind of absorbs whatever you put in it or marinate it in. Does. or Yes, so it's excellent for this application. So the first thing we're going to do is she's going to chop some celery and a little bit of onion. Oh, I have to chop onion too? You do, sorry about it. Oh. And I am going to just crumble up this tofu. You don't need to be real precise about it because it's egg salad, right? So. What are the different kinds of tofu? What so, would you use them for? Okay, so I mentioned that this tofu is extra firm. So there's also firm, soft. Silken? There's also silken, which is good for you want to make a mousse or you want to make some cheesecake. salad dressings, cheesecake, yeah. Is this adequate? I don't know how to cut celery. That's perfection. Thank you. you don't want, no one wants a big bite of celery. It's no. just for a little crunch in Nobody our egg really salad. Nobody really wants any celery. Well, she's opposed to vegetables. I am. What would we say the Ryan food groups are? Uh, what do we say? I just said this yesterday. Meat analogs, potatoes. vegan cheeses, potatoes, um, and sugar. Oh, you forgot mayonnaise. Oh, and mayo. Yes, yeah, just vegan. mayo. Vegan mayonnaise is also her. Mm -hmm. That is a staple in my life. So I don't know if you guys can see this tofu that I'm crumbling up here, but I'm just making it into just like you'd do egg salad, you know, like you'd make eggs. Um, I don't think people do that with eggs. Well, do they do this with eggs? Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they don't. She kind of has a smart mouth. Uh, better than a dumb mouth. Is that tofu frozen? That is so much first? better, right? So, oh yeah, you should mention that. I should mention it, yeah. but I don't know what you're doing with your recipe there. I did not freeze this tofu, but tell us what happens when you freeze tofu. When you freeze tofu, it becomes more, what is, what is more, the word? So more porous? So more water comes more out of absorbent. it when you freeze it. So you just buy the package of tofu, and you can get it at Cub or Target or wherever, oh, health food stores, any, lots of places sell tofu now, but you Stick buy it in, in the, the package, yep, throw it in the freezer, and then more water will come out. Which you, is, so then you want to thaw it in the fridge for a couple days, and it will be kind of... What is the word for this? Oddly shaped? Yes, the package will kind of like expand Have a, a little bit as the tofu is frozen in it. And then what? And then and then squeeze out a lot more water. And then water. you can get a lot more water, water out of it, and then it absorbs more yeah, so of the things. It's especially excellent if you're going to be marinating your tofu mm -hmm. in you know, soy sauce or something delicious for a meatier texture. And then it's more chewy. It is more chewy. Mm -hmm. So some people like it and some people don't, but just experiment. It's fun. So this I just, I just didn't do that for this. Because this doesn't really need to absorb because this is a mayonnaise, mustardy type of application. But right, right. you could. You certainly could. Okay, I'm finally done with this. Did I succeed admirably in this? That's pretty good. I'm impressed that you know how to cut things. Ugh. Well, wait until you see me cut the onion. This is going to be embarrassing. When we cook, she primarily will just come over and talk to me and drink yes. while I cook. Mm -hmm. And, and makes provide moral support. Yeah, and moral makes, makes smart support. comments. Teaches me about eyebrows. Do you want this in there? Yes. Yeah. Your eyebrows, eyebrows look yep. terrific. Okay, today. so thank you so much. You're welcome. Your eyebrows always look terrific. Thank you. Okay, so now we have our celery this in the pool really here. This is a slow way to do this. Is that what people do? They like. No, you can pick. You just, you just pick it. 
<laughs> you just pick it up and dump it. It's what am fine. I doing with this? Chop it up. But what is that? I, I peeled it earlier today to save us some time. How, okay, what am I supposed to do? Do you want me to do, do it? I, I'll show you. I'll do it, I'll do it. Just tell me how to do it. What do it's I do? It's your first time, just dice it up, however you want. It doesn't okay. have to be perfect, it's gonna get mixed with a bunch but, of mayonnaise. Okay. okay, so what else is gonna go in here, guys? So this is some nutritional yeast. We right. talked about this in our last show, but nutritional yeast is like a cheesy, nutty, kind of delicious additive that we're gonna put in food. It has B vitamins. It also has some salt and pepper, and we're gonna mix that guy in. And this is a very special ingredient here. Wasn't there something else in there? It was Nutrien, some other thing? T oh, a little bit of turmeric. Because yeah, you cannot forget the turmeric because that is nature's greatest gift to health. Apparently, some people tell us that. But yes, what do. we're using turmeric for in this application is just a pinch of it for color. So it'll give it that nice golden eggy color. Which is good for a tofu, if you're making a tofu scramble. Oh yeah, Then it makes it kind Real of good. eggy colored. Tofu scramble is a vegan version of scrambled, scrambled eggs. eggs. It's really good with hash browns and burritos. Also, if people are watching this and they have commentary on how I cut things, I know and I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> so don't write in with that. Don't, okay, don't so tell me how to cut an onion. I don't care. Can I tell them about this? Do it. So this is black salt. And I know, I know it's not black. Okay, it's pink. But it's called black mineral salt. You can see right here. Kalanamak. I don't know how to pronounce that. But that's what it is. And it has a very sulfurous um, type of flavor to it. So you know how eggs have that. It smells like egg farts. Well, eggy smell. So that's why we're going to put a little bit of this in. Not too much, not too much, or you'll regret it later. Trust me on this. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to, you know, that would be inappropriate to describe what would happen to you, but just a little. And then, how are you coming there? That's I probably enough. That's plenty of, you don't need to cut the rest. Oh, okay, good. That's plenty. We don't want it to be too oniony because it's breakfast time here in Minneapolis. Is it? So I'm just going to put in a little bit of Dijon. You could also use, um, just regular. I wouldn't use spicy. Oh, let's tell them about this. Oh, yes. Just mayo. You tell them. Um, it's vegan mayo. You used to work for them. I did. Uh, they mm. are uh, California based. Hampton Creek makes just mayo. And it tastes like mayo. And it's amazing. It's a mayo zing. <laughs> Boo. And you can get it everywhere now, which is you can super awesome. You can get this big thing at Target for $4.99. They try to make we don't work for them, vegan so mayo we just like affordable, it. healthy, and normal. Yeah, they're trying to bring sustainable food to the masses, so everyone can eat sustainable, healthier food. No cholesterol, no eggs, etc. But it tastes just like mayo. It really which does. Which is amazing. So I'm not really measuring because I don't do that, but I'm just going to dump some in and get it to the... Ooh, you want to put the onions in first? I guess. All right, perfection. Like this? Yeah, dude. Mm. I can't believe after so many years of friendship, you never really taught me how to cook. Well, when I was growing up, uh, my dad was, is an amazing cook. And he tried, and my stepmother tried for so long to get me to learn how to cook. And like every single day, we spent summers with them. And every single day, one of us kids had to make lunch. It was our chore, and among many other chores. But I hated it, and I never wanted to do it. And then in college, I started watching Food Network and mm -hmm. just making the stuff that I saw in there. And then it became one of my most favorite things. I call it my yoga. It's my favorite. That's probably enough. What do you think? Sure. Just a bunch. Do I mix it? Yeah, you want to you mix it? OK. Oh. Give me a job. I will. There you go. Yes. What is this, the egg salad? Yeah. Or the tuna salad? It's egg salad. Oh, I'm going to get a fork so we can test it for seasonings. Oh. You got your fancy bread to put I this did. on, yeah? I brought fancy bread. But you don't even need bread. You could make this into lettuce wraps, which would be really delicious with some big romaine leaves or some butter lettuce or something, some bib lettuce, and just wrap it up in there if you want vegetables. Is the fancy bread butter than the bread you've made this weekend? Definitely not. I mean, maybe. Chelsea made bread this weekend. I always make bread. OK. Do you always make bread? <laughs> that is OK. This girl, you guys. You can't have her. She's mine. OK. I don't know how well that is mixed. Probably not very. Keep I see nooch. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's so good though. Is it? Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Is it? Mm. Agorific. You guys are really going to like this. And we'll post these recipes to our uh, Facebook page and we'll have it on the YouTube videos mm -hmm. when we get those up. In the link. And you can always feel free to send us ideas for what you'd like to see veganized. That's kind of my favorite thing to do is to take mm. a. It's good, right? Mm hmm. Why don't we put this in the fridge Holy to chill for the end of the show? That is good. Okay. And then we can all eat it. And you guys can't, but you can make it yourself. Mm, mm. It'll be fun. OK. What's so, next? Now we still need this mayonnaise, because now we're making tuna salad. 
Can you grab the tuna salad ingredients up there I for might. me, my dear? I just might. Perfection. So Ew, I don't want this. You might be wondering why do vegans make things that act like their non-vegan counterparts? Do people ask you that a yes. lot? Yes, yes, like, I do. Like, oh, why do vegans eat veggie dogs and veggie burgers if they don't like meat? Well, what's your answer? Because you what mine. else are you going to eat? Because you need to eat stuff, and they make things that are comparable so that it's an easy transition, and because nobody stops eating things because they don't like the taste. Well, and also, right? if you think about it, meat, animals, don't come in like hamburger shapes. Right. They don't come in hot dog shapes. That's mm -hmm. the way that we prepare food to eat. So you yeah, can what would be a hot dog animal? Like, if it's just... Yeah, yeah I don't, that's I don't, not, I don't that's know. That's not how they come. So my answer is always because I didn't quit eating animals because I didn't like them. Like, mm -hmm. I enjoyed the taste of eating meat, so sometimes we like to replicate that in our cooking, just taking the cruelty out of it and the mm -hmm. bad for the environmentness of all of that. And not to get preachy, but that's why. And we, we like the food. Yeah. Also, there's only so many things to eat. That's true. And it's healthier. What are you do? It's healthier. Not that you care. I don't care. Potato chips. Yeah. Okay. So the tuna salad that we're going to make today is chickpea based. You could also do it with tofu, but we just did that. So we're going to make it with chickpeas. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to smash these. Oh, oh you had a tip to share. Grief. You had a tip to share. So this is just a can of chickpeas, um, just drained and rinsed. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the base. And we're going to, you could use your food processor and just give them a zhuzh so that they're. The thing that I do for this is that there's kind oh, of shell. like two. So you take, what is this, husk? Yeah. You take shell. The, the shell off because when you do that, it, I feel like it just mushes up easier. So that is what I like to do. I feel like people are going to think I'm lying to them about not knowing how to cook, but actually I just know a very few things. And the <laughs> things that I know are kind of important. But otherwise. And one of them is not geography. No, I don't know anything about geography. She really doesn't. Where's Washington, D.C.? She literally asked me that last week. What do I need to know that for? <laughs> so, okay, well, are you really doing that? Well, I'm not going to do that to all of them because otherwise that would be a colossal waste of the time. Yeah. I don't think people want to watch me do that for a half hour. Oh, look, we have a masher. Okay. So this is a potato masher, but I use it for chickpeas and potatoes. By all means. No, you. No, you. It might not work very well. <laughs> Use well, your boy, this is going to be dumb for our audience. Well, we don't have to. We're like, oh, how do, how do we do this? Well, mine at home, the one that I use is metal, and that makes it a lot easier to smush your chickpeas. But let's, um, so you just smush them a little bit. It's good with a nice sturdy fork. But you can too. see that the, when you go to smush these, the little husky things separate out anyway. And I feel like when you take those out, it helps with the texture of making it more tuna fishy. It certainly does. It certainly does do that. Yeah. So. I'm going to just put a little elbow grease into it because that's what we should do. And then, okay. Here, let me try this again. Oh, yeah, use the hands. That's fun. I love cooking with my hands. That's excellent. I don't know that I have the hand strength to moosh these. So the other ingredients that are going to go in this is this is not a shot, unfortunately. Aww. This is pickle juice because a little pickle juice is what you need in tuna salad. So we're going to use this. We're going to use our favorite just mayo again. We're going to use some dill relish. Don't buy sweet relish. Why? Because that's not good in this. Why? This is a savory dish, and sweet relish just doesn't give it the right profile. So we're going to use hmm. dill relish. Does it say that on the container? No, but sweet. It'll, it'll say that. Yeah, it will. It says oh. sweet. Yeah. And then we don't need this because we have salt in a shaker somewhere. We do. And then dill weed. I'm going <laughs> to use dried. I know. I know. But you could use, um, you could use fresh dill if you wanted to as well. <laughs> so those are the ingredients we're going to use today. We're also going to use a little bit of something called sea seasonings, which gives it, you could also use a few different other things, but sea seasonings is a seasoning blend that gives it that kind of seafoody kind mm -hmm. of flavor. You could also use... Not to be confused with seafood seasoning, which is no, a totally different that's thing. that's a different thing. That's seasoning for seafood. Mm -hmm. So sea seasoning is to help replace the flavor of the sea. Yes. You could also use, if you can't find sea seasonings, because we had some trouble finding it this time around, but you could also use some Old Bay. That would be really delicious in here. Mm -hmm. You could use some toasted nori, mm -hmm. which is sea vegetable. Mm -hmm. It comes in a sheet. You could toast it, and then I it usually... It looks like it's of the sea. I usually grind it up in my uh, little coffee grinder, because I don't like, I don't want chunks of seaweed, seaweed in my mouth. Mm. But that's, that's good. good. That's totally fine. Ugh, fine. It's totally fine. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of... Pickle juice, like a, maybe like a tablespoon. Do you want to drink this? No. It's good, in a, bloody, it's good in a Bloody Mary if you have leftover pickle juice. When we but were, do we have leftover Bloody Mary? We don't. 
unfortunately. When my stepbrother was, when we were young, he would always just drink the, oh, he would always drink the pickle juice, just straight out of the jar. Why? Because he's weird. Well, that explains a lot about your brother. No, not my brother, my stepbrother. Oh, well, then I know. Well, he's him. still my brother, but from another parental figure. Okay. Brother from another brother. A little. That's a, a lot. Little, no, it's perfection. No. She doesn't, I mean, pickle's barely a vegetable. Okay. Okay. Why don't you find our cute salt shaker? But do you want me to actually eat this? A little bit of dill is good. Well, you don't have to eat it. Yeah. And then I'm going to use, oops. Oh, I'm going to use the same one. Oh, fine. And some more of our delicious mayonnaise. What, there are some other mayonnaises available, too, if you want. Oops, sorry about that. That was loud. Um, what are the other mayonnaises that they can try? Follow your heart. Is that what it is? Veginase. Veginase. Yeah, that one's really or good, too. Or veganase. But they don't know how to pronounce it themselves, so yeah, no one knows. You have to figure that one out yourself. So a little salt. They're pretty comparable. I M H O or just mayo is a taint, a skosh do better. Do they know? Do they know what that means when you say I M H O? In my humble opinion, I'm gonna use your. I fork. mean, I feel like the people that watch this have heard of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mayonnaise, pickles, smashed chickpeas that would normally be smashed better than this. Dillweed. <laughs> and. You can also add some other little things to this. If you wanted to put celery in here, that would be fine. Celery? Yep. You could add some onions. But this is a nice, simple, delicious recipe. Mm -hmm. You can also make this into almost like a, do you know that tuna pea pasta salad that people make with like mayonnaise and, no? Tuna pea pasta, what are yeah, the words like, you're saying? It's like tuna salad with like um, pasta, like the little bow tie pasta, you know? Mayonnaise, peas, Like no? tuna salad with pasta. No, I don't put peas in things because that's gross. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So this is our what we're having for a tuna salad here. But when you take the time to actually mash it up, then it mimics the yeah texture and what all, all that of tuna. And that's a, good, that's a good thing to do. Yeah. But this will be delicious at any rate. So let's put that in the fridge to sit for a little while. Okay. Uh, okay. So the last thing we wanted to make is we wanted to make something sweet that would be delicious on a hot summer day, mm -hmm. which I hope it's going to be today in Minneapolis, but we don't know. Okay because we don't care. Do I need to do a thing about that? Yeah, so a, it's up there. Am I locating a thing for Let's you? Let's show them our popsicle maker. Okay. Okay, so this is the easiest thing ever and it's absolutely delicious. So this is an amazing popsicle mold that I bought yesterday at Target and it worked perfectly for the ones we're gonna reveal to you at the end. So these are literally the only ingredients in these. We have, I thought this was cute, so I just put it in here and I was out of Tupperware. Yes. But uh, fresh strawberries, pineapple, and raspberries are what I'm using today, but you could use whatever fruit you like. Some oranges would be really nice. Even those little Ooh. mandarin ones that you like, yes. that would be good in there. I do like those. And then this, I, like I don't- fruit to come out of a can. Do you like this? This is coconut water. So people are kind of all about coconut water. That's okay. It has, does it- I know it's good for you, but- Yeah, it's good for you. But it's really good in these because it makes them look beautiful because it's clear. But you could also use juice if you wanted to. So get your handy cutting board again, <gasps> my sweet. Okay. Does it matter that this handy cutting board has mayo on it? No, you flip it over. Okay. How about Just I wipe it Just flip it over. How about I wipe it? Sounds excellent. Okay. I love to make a mess when I cook. It seems inevitable. I need an assistant always to clean up my messes. Thank Isn't you for- me? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's her. Okay, so you can do, you know, we don't really need to cut the raspberries because they're perfection. But you can get started chopping some of this. Oh, good grief. Pineapple. All right. And I'm going to take these and put them in here. She said, you're going to cut pineapple today. And I said, mm, I don't know how to do that. Well, I already did part of it. But you can, fresh pineapple is excellent. And I can show you how to cut that another day. Like this? Don't you have to like core fresh pineapple? You do. And do weird it's things It's really easy, it? though. I'll show you sometime. Aww. We'll make some pina coladas or something. Ooh, I like that idea. Did I get you with that? Yes. I make a really delicious pina colada cupcake. You do? Mm -hmm. What day? When did it's you ever make that for me? Um, every day. Any if you day. didn't make it for me, it did not happen. Okay, so here's what Is we're doing. Is this enough? I don't want to make it too tiny. A little, just, yeah. But here, let me give you a little more. A skosh more? No, that's perfectly fine. Okay. I'm going to steal this to your room. Okay. And so then, yeah, don't pack it in too tightly, though, because you need room for the um, coconut water or your juice to get up in there and freeze. You do need room for the juice to get all up in there. What's your favorite fruit? <laughs> Uh, it's a trick question. <laughs> I don't like oranges because it's too much work to peel them. I don't like apples because I feel like the skin gets stuck in my teeth. Are you um, one of my children? Yes. 
I, I am afraid I actually have taught that to your oldest. <laughs> because I listen to him be picky about fruit, and I'm like, oh, what did I do? Um, they love fruit, but my, my oldest son has decided that he has to have his apples cut a certain way. Mm -hmm. And he, if there's like, you know, where the seed is in the apple, where there's that little hole, yep. if there's that little hole in his apple, he makes me cut it off. He's not a picky eater, but. Yeah, I've probably spent too that's much probably time enough. with kids. That's enough sweets. But, but, okay. Now we need strawberries. Do we need to cut those too? Yeah. Ugh. Fine. So my mother-in-law would take the strawberry, and she is, she's very uh, um, amazing at cooking and very attention to detail oriented. So she actually cores out her strawberries before she cuts them. But I just chopped that part off. Because yeah. that's a lot of work for me. Good, I did. Oh, that's beautiful. Look Thank at you. you. You're learning. She's learning right along with you guys at home. <laughs> it's true. Although I probably won't retain the information. And hopefully you all will. You're lucky you have a man who does the cooking for you. I am. What about that fried chicken thing he made for us the other day? Fried that vegan chicken, you guys. It was so good. Mm -hmm. It was from the herbivorous butcher. OK, we're almost, we're almost there. I know it's probably boring watching us chop strawberries. Or hilarious. Maybe this is really fun for people to watch, and they're like, what is, what is this person doing? I mean, she is entertaining to watch when she look, tries to cook. Look, you guys, I didn't major in strawberry cutting. What did you major in? Marketing. Oh. Same as you. Remember, if I need any I know. marketing help, I know. I'll contact you. But I know. That, I was priming you for that. Oh. We have... You things to, oh, things do you, you should say. Do you want to see this guy? Ooh. Butamus. So we're filling this pretty much to the top with strawberries and other fruit. And then we're, oh, I need more. It's OK. We don't really need more. What about these that are already cut up? Why don't you use that? OK. Can I just She's bossy. These? She, mm -hmm. She's not skilled and also bossy at cooking. Yep. But that's OK with that's me. That's how I do. Because I love her. Look what I did. Look at that. Yay. OK, that's good enough. <gasps> did I cut you? With your beautiful green knife? Yes. No. OK, good. I usually cut myself when I'm cooking at least once. I'm okay. going to keep doing this in case you change your mind. No, so now what I'm going to do is take our coconut water. Wait. Wait. Look, it helped. Aren't they beautiful, though? Look how cute. So beautiful. So kids Wait, don't fill that last one yet. I'm doing this. I'm in. I'm all in. You're I all in with help. the strawberries? I want to do it. Awesome. <gasps> okay, so now Yay. there's a fill line on these, so just fill it. Because, you know, things expand when they're frozen. So we're just going to top these guys off. And then we're going to show you the great reveal of how pretty these are. I wonder if you could do this with champagne. <gasps> Ooh. Wouldn't that be delicious? Why or like, we do that? Or uh, if it was an adult party, like uh, wine coolers? Yes. Do people still drink wine coolers? Uh, why not? Yeah, I don't know. Sure. OK, we need to get our other popsicles out. Doo -doo -doo. We have popsicles for you. They're right here. They froze so fast. I know. How did you do that? I'm magic. <gasps> So these are our little same exact ones we just made for you. Same exact ones, the ones we same just did. Same exact ones. But look at how cute, right? So cute. And they're delicious. Do you want to try one? really good. I don't think that's appropriate on television. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> We're inappropriate on television. That's true. So there's our popsicles. This is how we did it. This so is how we did it. These are the popsicle sticks that go in there. So we just did this. So we lied to you already. Sorry. And then this stick will just go in here, and they seal like that. And then you just freeze them for five hours until they're frozen. The Et yeah. voila. Et voila. And then we're going to, OK, well, can you take our salads out of the fridge? I can take our salads out of the fridge. Awesome. For you, egg salad. OK. Oh, good. OK, guys. Oh. Oh, that smells good. It smells so good. Do you want to put that one in the other cute bowl? Mm, OK. So here's our egg salad. Oh, I want to eat this right now. I'm going to eat this You're right now. You're going to. You're going to eat it momentarily. I never eat breakfast before we come film, and I feel like maybe I should because then I wouldn't just want to hose down all this food. Well, what are you going to do? Okay. So, here's our egg salad. Here is our creamy tuna salad. We didn't try the tuna salad yet. So let's uh, let's give it a try. Can you grab us a little plate ski? You grab yourself a little plate ski. I'm going to. Would you like mm -hmm. some sprouted seven grain bread? Not really. Why don't you just white Should bread? Should we? Well, I don't eat white bread because oh. I like to eat things that are healthy. I know. She's wrong. your loss. I'm going to eat this I one. I want that one. You trade me. I want this. OK. Because that already tastes good, I know. And that is like tuna. OK. 
So here's a little tuna salad. Bread. Oh, you already got some. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you going to top your thing? Top so piece? you could put some like olives and some more pickles and any salad. I mean, this would be good with some lettuce, but I'm just going to eat it plain like this because I love it. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look like egg salad? Mm -hmm. That's what the turmeric's for. Turmer turmeric. 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 It's also an anti-inflammatory. Oh. I hear there's a lot of great health benefits to turmeric. You can make tea, I guess, or something. You can make things yellow. -ish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what can they do if they have questions or recipe suggestions or in general? Yeah. What if in they want life us in to general? In general, or if they want to tell us what to if do on the show. If you have questions in life, I recommend Googling it. <laughs> Yeah, you could Google it, but if yeah. you want us to do something specific on our show or address some um, concerns or questions. I would recommend going to Facebook Feed Me Vegan page. Yes. Yeah. Or, or they could go to Animal Rights Coalition Vegan yeah. University mm -hmm. slash Vegan University. AnimalRightsCoalition.com slash Vegan University. They could email us. They could email us. Info at AnimalRightsCoalition.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We they will talk about all the things. They could come to our store. They could come to the store. I think we you have will. Minnesota's only 100% vegan boutique in mm -hmm. South Minneapolis, mm -hmm. 48th and Grand. So yep. you can come see me there. Sometimes Ryan's there. Sometimes I'm there. Sometimes other people are there. Yeah. I don't want to talk anymore when I eat now. Try it. Will you try yours? I don't have a fork. <laughs> Who needs a fork? Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. So good, you guys. Oh. I want to cuss it so good. We're not allowed to curse on TV. We're not. Then our people will have to bleep it, and Ugh, so they don't want to do that. So much work. Okay. So at any rate, make this for your family, for your Memorial Day or whatever, some of our graduation party. What else Fourth happens? Fourth of July. Fourth of July, Father's Day. Things about dads. Yeah, things about dads. And tune Summer in. Summer in general. Tune in next week. We're thinking we're probably going to feature some. Well, we have no idea what we're doing. But I'd like to do some, like, meat alternatives okay for uh, summer grilling probably that will be the thing next week otherwise it will be disappointing when we do a different thing and then you're like i thought you were going to do this this week and then it's disappointing for everybody do we like to under promise and wait let over us, promise and under deliver no the other way oh, okay over promise under deliver i think is what you're supposed to do at any rate yes thank you so much for tuning in today i hope that you all have a super wonderful day we know we will yes as always Yeah, 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 yeah.